Good Saturday morning, everybody. Welcome to the News Channel 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A gorgeous start to the weekend. Very dry out there. We'll talk about burn bans coming up in just a little bit. This is our video weather blog. If you've never tuned into this before, it's called Weather Overtime. If you have any questions or would like to see something specifically mentioned on here, just go to austin.onik at wrg.com in your email and let me know. This is your weather blog, so whatever you want to see on here is what we want to present to you. We've got, again, some quiet conditions so far early this morning. Lots of people out and about on Big River Crossing heading across the river back and forth, biking, riding, strolling, just taking some pictures out there. So a beautiful morning and temperatures over the next several hours will be again on the cool side into around lunchtime and not much warmer than that. We'll talk more about that in a little bit and the forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. Sunshine today, northeasterly winds and temperatures back into the 60s and decently chilly tonight with frost advisories and freeze watches in effect. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little while. The view from Windy Country Club, mid to upper 40s this morning, heading through the mid to upper 50s through late this morning and into early this afternoon. High temperatures will be peaking in the lower 60s across much of the area. Plenty of sunshine, a few clouds this morning, but beyond that, just really not that much. Your cough temp decks for today, again, a hot one for this morning, but a cooler one for later on this afternoon. Maybe even a, just a warm, tepid coffee would be a good idea as we see again some warmer temperatures out there, but it's going to be cool enough to where maybe a hot cup of java would not be a bad idea for those of you who like that on a cooler day out across much of the mid-south again your coffee your temperature your business so if you burn your burn your tongue or your lips that's your business because you didn't check the temperature first no earthquakes in the last 24 hours nothing to report on veterans day and thanks to all the veterans out there for serving. Collierville from Tim B's webcam showing up this morning, looking pretty nice out there. The view from the Ole Miss campus, a few clouds and very quiet on campus as the leaves begin to turn on some of the trees around Ventress Hall and looking back toward the student union between the trees there. Heidelberg Elementary, plenty of sunshine. And if you'd like to see more of our webcams, go to wreg.com slash webcams. Power Center Academy, some of those clouds drifting on through, but hardly anybody at school for this morning. Very quiet conditions and very dry with the leaves and the grass. Olive Branch from former Mayor Sam Reichert's webcam around City Hall. Very quiet, clear blue skies and very pleasant conditions. A bit on the brisk side this morning. And the other problem is, of course, with wildfires. We have an elevated wildfire danger for the rest of the weekend and into next week. Until we get some good soaking rainfall in here, we're just going to be seeing that possibility continue. Now, the main problem, again, we have with burn bans all of northern Mississippi under burn bans. Matter of fact, there's only about six counties in Mississippi that are not under burn bans, and most of those are down toward the Gulf Coast. Numerous counties in Arkansas, including Poinsett and Cross County in Arkansas in the News Channel 3 viewing area, which you can see on your screen there. That is, again, going to be the main place uh, in Arkansas where the burn bans are currently located. Now, outside of that, we do not have any burn bans in the state of Tennessee in the News Channel 3 viewing area. We have five of them into and around eastern Tennessee, Claiborne, Jefferson, Loudoun, Monroe, and Sevier. That's where the burn bands currently are located, and that might spread into our area depending on how dry it continually gets. Yesterday's high, 43, pretty close to normal, about 10 degrees above normal for a high temperature, so a little bit above normal for this time of the year, and going back closer to normal for later on today. Rainfall, of course, zero to see across the Mid-South in the last 24 hours. For the rest of the morning, into this afternoon. Temperatures by lunchtime upper 50s to lower 60s. By early this afternoon, temperatures will peak in the lower 60s at best. And as we get into the course of the rest of the next several hours tonight, temperatures dropping through the lower 40s before News Channel 3 at 10. And overnight temperatures into tomorrow morning around daybreak will easily be dropping into the lower 30s. So we will be seeing better chances of frost across the Mid-South than what we have seen, widespread frost, than what we have seen in quite some time. Temperatures today, again, mid 60s, decently close to normal with a few clouds this morning, mostly sunny otherwise. Likewise, tomorrow, partly cloudy. A few clouds possible, but not doing too bad. Mid to upper 60s, a bit above normal for Monday, and fairly cool conditions in the morning, so getting the kids out to the bus stop will be necessary for a jacket, a windbreaker, or even a light coat. They won't need it later during the day, as temperatures all of next week in the afternoon will be back in the lower 70s, mid to upper 40s to lower 50s for lows later on this week. Now, toward Friday evening, a chance of showers possible, but not a great chance. That may linger into next Saturday morning, but not seeing a lot of problems out there otherwise. 
and getting into next weekend temperatures will cool off a bit going back in the lower to mid 60s for high temperatures and the chance of rainfall pitifully small though it is is the only chance of rain we've got out there for the next several days so chances of rainfall just not showing up out there thanking Deborah J54 for a beautiful sunrise from last week got pictures of weather around the mid-south tweet them to me at aonic underscore WREG3 don't forget about my forecast available on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network country 92.5 and oldies 102.3 that'll be coming up throughout the weekend and don't forget about my Monday morning forecast coming up with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live and Memphis in the morning starting bright and early Monday through Friday morning at about 6 to 7 a.m. on AM 730 in Memphis and don't forget about our weather app go to your app store and search WREG weather rest of the weekend again dry and quiet no problems being seen We'll take a look at what's coming up in the night skies tonight on our astronomy blog. That'll be coming up later on. It's called Sky Blog 3, available on our various social media networks and at WREG.com. And, of course, we'll take a look at weather throughout the course of the rest of the weekend here on News Channel 3 on air and online. And once again, if you have questions or ideas about what we can feature on here, send them to me at austin.onic at WREG.com. Or you can contact me on those various uh, social media networks that I'm on. I'm out there someplace on many different social media media network so make certain you sign up and let me know there. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This has been the latest edition of News Channel 3's video exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the course of the weekend and thanks for joining me bright and early on Saturday morning, November 12th.